we love rocking and rolling, as the song we just sang says, we love to rock and roll for, for the Son of Man. Let me tell you guys what we're about and what our motto is. You see, I believe with all my heart that there's two places. There's a heaven and that there's a hell. And one, one day when you die or raptured out or whatever you believe, you're going to go to one of those places. Now, now listen to me. I'm not here to shove nothing down anybody's throat, point your fingers, and tell you that you're going to burn. Because let me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, it's not what we're about. But what I'm about is offering hope to, to hurting people in the, in, in the form of Jesus Christ, the man who died for us. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to read a little bit of scripture. See, in John, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. I'm sure you guys heard that plenty of times in your life, but it goes on to say, yeah. forget God did not did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. You see, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but who does that, whoever does not believe already stands condemned because they don't believe in the name of God's only son. Let me tell you, man, God loves each and every one of you so much that he would give and send his only son. I don't know how many of you guys are parents, but I, I'd have to imagine that would be a pretty hard task. You see, Jesus came. <laughs> I said Jesus came, and he came to take the sins of every man. He came to take those addictions away from you, man. He came to take away the scars that you cut yourself, cut it to yourself. He came to take those away. He came to take away the alcoholism, the depression, the hurt, man. He died for you. You're special. He died just for you, just for you, and just for you. I don't know if this is touching anybody tonight or if this is speaking anything, but let me tell you, all you have to do to spend eternity in heaven and not have to burn the devil's hell is simply turn from your sin and ask Jesus Christ into your heart. And today, today can be your brand new start. You see, the Bible calls this being born again. That means a fresh start, man. That means a clean slate like you never did what you didn't want your parents to do. Like you never put that blade to your arm. Like you never wanted to kill yourself. Never happened. All you have to do is, is ask Jesus in your heart. Now, I don't know if this is touching anybody tonight, but if anybody, if anybody here wants to know Jesus, and, and, and you just, you're like, man, this is real. I can tell this is real. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this hurt. If that's you, man, I want you to raise your hand. I want you to keep it in the air. Anybody. I see that hand, man. Anybody else? Any other hands? I see that hand. Come on. Who cares? Who cares? Keep the hand raised, man. Who cares? Who cares who sees, man? Because one day we're going to have to count for everything we did, for every word we said. So these words will be coming back in your head, man. Either way. I'm telling you, this is your chance. If this is you, raise your hand with pride and say, I want Jesus in my heart tonight. Anybody else? If that's you, in fact, everybody, repeat these words after me. Because tonight's your night, man. Tonight's your night. Tonight's the night that you know when you lay your head down that you're going to spend eternity with Christ if anything ever happens to you, brother. Repeat these words after me. Dear Lord Jesus, God, forgive me. Forgive me of everything that I've done, for every word I said, for every sin I've committed. Lord, I thank you so much for dying on the cross for my sins. Lord, I ask that you come into my heart and make me a new creature in you. In the name of Jesus, everybody said amen.